The new president will get a new house to live in, of course, a new plane to fly in. New to him, but they have been used before. He will, though, get a brand new car, custom made with many bells and whistles. He'll ride in it for the first time on Tuesday. And our Pierre Thomas got an exclusive first look. The limousine is a symbol of presidential power. It is part of the mystique of the job. And the new president's new car is the most secure, sophisticated vehicle in the world. We're in a secret location. We're not allowed to tell you where we are. This is where the Secret Service keeps the president's limo. Wow, is this the president's primary limo? This is it. When it was delivered, the Secret Service took the car apart, piece by piece, to check it for eavesdropping devices. It's completely screened, uh, swept, to make sure that uh, we know exactly what's in the car, that nothing unexpected is in the car. And from that time on, this will never leave our sight. You guys have a nickname for this car. Uh, what's it called and why do you call it that? Uh, it's often referred to as the beast. You can see the size of the car here is huge. I'm six feet one inches tall and the car is taller than I am. I'm going to take a look inside and get a sense of the car. Now, for security reasons, we can't show you the interior of the car. But I can tell you, it does have the new car smell. The service trains for every kind of attack against the limo, including shoulder-fired missiles. Fair to say, bulletproof, bomb-resistant. All fair to say. Yeah, everything from a security perspective, from a threat concern uh, perspective that uh, one could imagine is addressed in this vehicle, as well as all the uh, very high-tech, state-of-the-art communications platforms, uh, it's all in one package. A team of specialized mechanics whose identities we agreed to protect travels with the car around the world. It's truly an honor, and remember this vehicle is an extension of the Oval Office. Can we take a spin in it? No. Uh, what about, can I sit in it? Uh, I'm sorry, no. Uh, what about if I kick tires? Uh, I wouldn't advise you do that. Oh well, we had to try. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington. And you wonder what kind of mileage it gets.